another day, another new beer from Sainsbury's. This time it's Equalizer IPA from Tiny Rebel. But what's this going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing another beer from Sainsbury's. Uh, this one is from Tiny Rebel. It is called Equalizer IPA. It says it's a finely tuned hazy IPA, obviously with this Equalizer music theme. Um, it says on the eye it's hazy, on the nose it's juicy. I mean, what kind of nose smells juicy? On the taste, pine and tropical. Uh, it's 5.8%. And that is literally all we know. It's a hazy IPA at 5.8%. We don't know what hops are in it, as normal with a lot of Tiny Rebel beers, they don't really tell you. But this was in Sainsbury's. A little bit more expensive, £3.50, the Tiny Rebel ones. I don't know whether that's a brand name and, you know, people won't know the brand name because they, you know, they're used to things like Club Tropica and Cali Power and all those ones that have always been in Sainsbury's. Or, you know, and that's why it's a bit more expensive. But, I mean, usually I find that Tiny Rebel beers can be very hit and miss more miss than hit and you know usually can be a little bit over you know get like brew dog with their over sort of put stuff in that's not really shouldn't be in beer like you know the adjuncts and stuff beer in a glass though looks quite nice a lovely sort of hazy it's a very very light yellow it's got literally a soapy head that is literally disappearing so there's a very little head on this at all reminds me a little bit of the um the other tiny rebel one which i've completely forgotten the name of oh the 50505 or 606 i think 606 uh, and it's a very good ipa but it has it it's a very sort of dull in terms of it, it looks a bit like that when you pour it out it needs a little bit more liveliness on it but it looked the color wise it looks pretty good let's see what the aroma's like hmm now that's interesting. So although it doesn't say the hops on it, there's definitely a sort of, yeah, I mean, I'd almost guarantee this got Sabro in it. There's that very sort of pineapple, coconutty sort of aroma to it. A little bit of sort of tangerine, sweet orange, but pineapple, coconut, big, big aroma. So I'm pretty sure this has got the Sabro in it, but we'll find out when we drink it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, there's no doubt this is, I say that, I mean, it's very coconutty. So it could almost have that Sriracha Ace, which is a much more coconutty sort of hop. But you don't get that much. I don't know, but it's very, very sweet coconut. So it could be that or could be Sabro. It's obviously got something coconutty in it. It's very, very light and, and quite thin, you know, in body. In fact, it's very thin. It's almost thinner than a lot of parallels are. Um, probably just because you know that obviously that head sort of showed that, and it's quite carbonated as well for a, for an IPA. So it's light, it's thin. You get that sort of sabro pina colada flavour, definitely pineapple. Yeah, pineapple and coconut. A little bit of lime in there, a little bit of grapefruit and other citrus fruits, and that's about it. It's it's inoffensive as a beer, but it's lacking really the thing it's lacking in his body there's nice flavors there it's got this juicy tropical sort of flavor i'm not really picking up much in terms of pine maybe a little bit of pine but more pineapple really in terms of that that's the the, the fruit flavor that's much more up front is pineapple a little bit and then you're getting some big hits of sort of sweet coconut a little bit of lime a little bit of grapefruit but they're very sort of light and sort of Again, you know, inoffensive is the best word. But the, the problem a bit with the beer is it's the body is just very, very poor. It's just a little bit too fizzy. It's, you know, it, it's a beer. It's a, it's a tropical fruit punch beer for kids, really. That's what it's, what it's like, you know. It's almost like, you know, the sort of lilt for grown-ups, really, um, which, you know, we, we get out a few beers, but usually that's more in parallels. But this is certainly got a parallel sort of body to it. It's very, very light. Uh, and it's um, and it's got that carbonation that you get more of a parallel. But as I say, the Sabro hop, I, I don't I mean I'm saying it's Sabro, I could be completely wrong. It certainly got a Sabro flavour to it. Um, 
So if you like that sort of thing, it's okay. But there are a lot better beers. And for an IPA, 5.8 is a little bit low for an IPA. And you can see that. You can see how thin and, and, and almost watery sort of looking. And it's a little bit like that in the taste. You just want more body to it. And then the flavours would sort of cling a little bit more to the palate. And it just would, it, it would just, it would just work better as an IPA. It's okay, but you know, there's a lot about supermarket beers and there's a lot better beers in, super, in supermarkets like Sainsbury's where this is from. And I don't think it's worth £3.50 when you've got the likes of, you know, the Heaven IPA, which is £2.40. I know that's on a special at the moment, but it's still £2.40 at the moment. It's head and shoulders above this beer. Even the Scaffell, I did have that recently. Um, I didn't review it because it, 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 by the looks of it, is exactly the same as the one that I had in Tesco. But you drink that, same price as this, actually. No, actually, that's free. free no, that, I think that's £3.50 as well. Um, but that, again, is, you know, head and shoulders above this beer. Um, and that's typical of your sort of tiny rebels, really. So, equaliser IPA. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Equalizer IPA from Tiny Rebel, a finely tuned IPA that's hazy and 5.8%. We don't know what's in it, hop-wise, but um, I reckon it's got either Sriracha Ace or Sabro in it, because it's definitely got those sort of coconut, it's quite a big sort of flavour. But let's go through the scores. Firstly, aroma. Well, you know, this is why I, so as soon as I popped it, I'm putting those to it. Definitely coconut is a big aroma. Pineapple, coconut, what you would expect with Sabro. You can get, you know, it could it could have something, it could have a Sriracha Ace and Citra, and that could, you know, you might get those sort of same sort of aromas. I'm not sure. I, what I do think, what I do hope, it is not just like it's got some sort of other hop in it, and then the then the coconut see sort of aroma is a, is in a junk really, opposed to actually from the hop. To me, though, I think, I don't, you know, he doesn't say that it's got coconut in it. So um, I, I would suggest that that's got Sabro in it. It's, a, it's again, it's if you like Sabro. It's funny because I think I said on the uh, the um, Faith in the Futures, the new one, which has got Sabro hopping it from Northern Monk, that we don't see Sabro much in supermarket beers. And then suddenly here's another beer, which I'm sure has got Sabro in it. But this is, you know, aroma-wise, yeah, I mean, coconut, and pineapple are the sort of big aromas. It's not bad. I'm giving it 13 for aroma. Appearance. Well, I'm very disappointed. I keep sitting here swinging it, trying to liven it up a little bit. It looks a little bit dead on arrival. The, the, the head literally keeps disappearing. There's no head. It's very thin. I mean, it's a nice sort of colour, although it's very sort of light coloured. But for me, the, the look of the head and everything is not that appealing. So I'm giving it six for appearance. Flavor wise, well, the flavor is like the aroma. You're getting the if there is the sabro, you're getting that pineapple, you're getting coconut, and then that's about it. It's so light and thin that it's almost got a watery sort of um, sort of taste to it. So that sort of all those flavors they come in quickly, and then they sort of wash themselves away just as quickly. And there's no sort of you're not really left with much in terms of flavour on the palate. You're not. There's. You could re if you're really hunting for it, you could get a little bit of sort of sit other citrus fruits, including grapefruit. That's about it, really. Um, it, it it's it's not bad um, flavour wise, but the body really really lets it down. It's it's so thin and watery in terms of its sort of body profile that you know it, it could be a good beer if it had a better body, but it hasn't. So, but. The flavour certainly is, because it's light and it's thin, it's, you know, you it, it, it just drink so. It's another one of those beers that drinks easily, but it's got a similar body to the to likes of other Tiny Rebels. At 5.8, it needs a little bit more oomph in it. I'm still giving it 32 for flavour, because the flavour's not bad. It's pretty pleasant. It's just the, you know, it, them, them points would definitely go up two or three more if it had a better body, but 32 for flavour. Value well, yeah, three point for uh, three pound fifty for this beer. I think you're paying a little bit because they think, oh, it's Tiny Rebel with the name, and people are going to gravitate towards it more. But I don't think it's worth three fifty compared with the other beers that are available in in in, um, in Sainsbury's because it, it to me it drinks like two two pound forty pal hour really. So I'm gonna knock it back to seven for value. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't think it's something that I would rush out to buy again because I know I can buy better for three pound fifty. About overall experience, well, you know, as I say now, it's not it's not the greatest in terms of um, in terms of its body and it's very thin. Flavors are nice. It's it's okay. It's just you know I've had tiny rebel beers that have been awful, and, I've, and the other one I've got this juicy, it's a juicy. Oh, it's not an ice cream, is it? No, I think it's a juicy smoothie IPA, which um, I might even have after this one, obviously in a different video, but I might have it after this one. That one I know is going to be probably closer to some of the sort of that dodgy brew dog one, so I'm not sure about that. This is probably going to be better, but it said it needs more body. You know, it says, uh, you know, it, it says it's an IPA, but it drinks much more like a very sort of light pale ale. My overall experience then, I'm giving it 13. So tighten the scores up. We get, I mean, it's just about recommended 71. I'd say there are worse beers in the supermarket, but there's probably more that are much, much better. Um, you know, uh, and Sainsbury's, for example, the salt alpaca, you can buy Scaffel for the same price, I'd buy that. Certainly even, at, you know, which is quite cheap at the moment, is definitely better than this. Even other stuff like um, the, I mean, obviously salt alpaca, the salt, the other one, the uh, Citra Junior, that's another one that's, uh, not uh, Nepa Junior, sorry, that's much better than that. That's got, that's got a, a really good body for its uh, ABV. You know, there's there, there's some good beers in in Sainsbury's now, um, and this one really doesn't compete with some of the some of the better ones. But that's it for today. Hope you've liked this video. Um, I feel I've rattled on enough. At the end of the day, it's a very thin IPA that's got a big sort of coconutty pineapple hit. That's it in a nutshell. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, really pleased with the late, you know, recent videos, getting lots of views and lots of people commenting on some of the sort of, you know, some of the interesting beers that we've had from Sainsbury's. Um, so I hope you've been enjoying those. And until the next one, keep on rocking.